no, 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 and it's two of them. That is horrible. That is horrible. That is in trouble. Hello, guys. Let's do some more um, faster than light, shall we? This is a really fun little game that I am <laughs> kind of addicted to lately because it's just so much fun. And uh, yeah, um, before we begin, there has been uh, a few people that wanted to have their um, the ha to have a crew named after them, and I was a bit apprehensive about doing that f at first. Uh, because, you know, there's so many people that will want to apply then. But, you know, what the heck? Let's just do it. <laughs> I guess it could be fun. So, right. Um, let's see. Matt, I guess you can... Oh. We, we can't rename them. Hmm. Well, that's out of the window. Unless I'm missing something. Nope. Can't rename them. Sorry. <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> oh, it seems you can only rename them at the start. That's weird. Oh well. I'm sure you guys will tell me if it's possible to rename them or not. Anyway, we're in Sector 2. Let's proceed to more unvisited places. <laughs> We've got a lot of scrap, but I'm saving it for uh, any good stuff we can find. Navigating the fog blind, you practically bump holes with a mantis ship. They hail you. Pa! This transgression will be overlooked. Nebula, very dangerous. Next time, humans all die. There won't be a next time. Open fire. Right. Let's go with the lasers for... Huh. Let's go their weapons first. Actually, no, their shields first and... Um, we could just use the halberd beam. That's weird, I thought I could uh, rename people. There we go. Shields destroyed. So until they repair them, we can just wreak havoc. Uh, I think we can get five rooms. No, it's just out of range. Oh well. Let's do it like this then. Four rooms. Boom! These beams are awesome. The ship explodes. Right. Well, we did get one hull damage, but that's a small price to pay. Next! I want to get to a store and buy some new, either weapons or, you know, stuff like that. A rock armor transport nearby looks to have lost its bearings, but when you hail, they, they grow suspicious. Whatever life form you are, we will find you repugnant. Repugnant? Repugnant? I don't know. We seek no aid. Leave. Now. Um... Well, why not? Let's get some more scrap. <laughs> I'm such a pirate. Ah, no, this is the... This section of the nebula is experiencing a plasma storm. Your main reactor can only function at half capacity. This isn't good. As you can see, my O2 was turned off, which is really illogical. So I'll take some power from the engines to the uh, oxygen generator. And I only have enough for a burst laser, but that's enough to destroy them. So They are powering both weapons, though. So we'll go for that first, uh, make them repair it, and then we'll go for the shields and the rest. Oh, 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 uh, see, that's what I did not want, but he only hit one room, so that's good. He takes my shields out with the laser, and then, you know, and then can use the, uh, whoa, I don't have auto fire, sorry. And then he can use this laser beam to um, cut through the shields which, well, are not up there, and uh, damage my room. So I'm going for the weapons first, even though he still is... There we go. Now we can go for the shields. This gives me time, because they have to repair the system in the meantime, and then I'll just go for shields. I'm going to leave up this laser, because it can't go through one layer of shields, because it's obviously level 1 only. It does 1 damage and uh, it can't go through one level of shields. So as long as he doesn't have this weapon on, I can just keep pounding whatever I like, really. I could go for the weapons, but it doesn't matter now, because he'll, he only has one hole left, so he's dead now. Goodbye. Don't call me names next time. Right. Lots of scrap. Where are the... Uh 
Now remember, whenever you get out of those plasma storms, uh, you have to redistribute the energy. The game doesn't do it for you. So, just remember that, you know, next time you go fighting someone after a plasma storm, you may be very low on shields and engines and everything, especially, you know, life support. <laughs> Your crew are constantly looking out of the windows, checking for hostiles. They jump at every creak and moan of the ship. The tension is almost palpable. Alright, well... Let's jump forwards. There we go, the rebels are coming. But since we're in the nebula... Actually, I'm not sure if... You can't see anything through the thick gla oh, gases <laughs> surrounding your ship. Without knowing what is out there, all you can do is wait for your FTL to charge, which is in instant. Boom. I guess they changed that so you don't have to wait, you know, doing nothing. Um, yeah, this nebula doesn't really work that well. The rebel fleet was prepared for the nebula in this sector, so it won't be as effective a hiding spot. Otherwise, if you've got, you know, mostly clear space and some nebula parts, you can go to them and they will slow down. They will go like half the speed they're doing now. But we still have some time. I really want some teleporters. Because those are awesome. Your ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby on now Wolfie Station to look for you. Attack the ship, of course. Ah, uh, he's only got the laser and Halbert, or this is not Halbert, something worse, but... Oh, he's got teleporters, and he's only got one guy apparently here. And this guy will die horribly because he's fighting a mantis, and the mantis... or the manti do double damage. Ow. Oh, he got my O2. That's not good. So I will need to get people there right away and repair it. And that guy is dead. We can power the uh, the medical ward before we need to power life support again. There we go. Pause. Send this guy back. And depower that. And Oh, sorry. Yes, we will need to power O2 because we have the Zoltan there. Ah, Halberd Beam is ready. What should we destroy? Four at least, so... There. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. No, it's not because it's already destroyed. <laughs> nice. Right, uh, do we need anything else? I don't think so. Ship engines, there we go. That's good. Um, I think that's it. I should really start spending this, but I want to buy a teleporter, and if I get another mantis, uh, let's heal him up. If you get another mantis, you can, uh, you know, send two manti aboard their ship. And if you kill all the crew instead of damaging it or destroying it, you get more scrap and rewards. So I'm just looking for a store at the moment, but I can't seem to find one. You ex half expect to be ambushed at any moment, however, no attack comes, so this was a waste of fuel. There's a store, we'll go here first. Yep. It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of your passing. He's got no shields! The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your position, which means they'll... I think they'll move double the speed. He's got an ion cannon and a laser, so I think I'll go for the... weapons first, actually, because it'll take him time to uh, power up his FTL, and in the meantime we can already destroy him. This will go through my shields, yeah. And there we go. Weapons are offline, and the halberd beam can do its thing. Good night. Good night. You will hopefully be one step ahead of the fleet. Right. We've got 204. We need to repair, rearm, and all that good stuff. So let's go to the store. Hopefully they've got something good. I'm sorry, we've got nothing to give you, but we need scrap to keep the engines running. You sense they'll strike a trade. Right. They don't really have good stuff, but this is good. Automated reloader. I think I'll buy that, because we we don't have any augmentations anyway. I'll sell the 
anti-ship drone one because it's pretty pathetic, I think. It's not that pathetic, I just don't like drones that much for some reason. Ooh, four seconds recharge time. That is very nice. The iron bomb is also very nice, though. But it's got 18 seconds to recharge and it uses up a missile. However, it uh, uh, teleports through shields, through everything, so, you know. And it only requires one power instead of three. But this thing has a recycle time of four seconds, which is brilliant. Bum bum ba dum bum. Hmm. I think I'll do the eye bomb, really. Uh, I do want the reloader. Uh, I do want to repair. And I do want fuel. All of it. And. I think I'm going to sell the missile launcher. Don't really need it, and I'll buy the eye bomb. Hmm. I never bought the drone recovery arm, simply because not enough ships use drones for this to pay off, I guess. I don't know, I might be wrong, and this could give you, you know, really good stuff. But uh, for this, for now, this is it. Not really the stuff I wanted, to be honest, but yeah. We need one more weapon power to power our eye bomb at the same time as all the others and one more reactor power so we can actually power it there it is uh, however next I want to invest in some doors uh, blast doors because at the moment anyone who boards can just go through the doors you know like they weren't there I think and actually, I also want to invest in shields. I'm pretty late. I usually invested in shields earlier than this. Weird. But there's another store there. Well, it doesn't help me now. Right, that's explored. Let's explore a little more while we have the time. We don't have uh, the money for that store anyway. A black market weapons trader spins you a tale of the dangers of the nebula before pushing his wares. Y we could buy something for 65 scrap, but you don't know what it is. It might be something that's not worth 65. Or last time when I was playing alone, it was something worth 65. I think it was some kind of a halberd beam, but better, if I remember correctly. I can't remember. Anyway, let's attack the ship. You know, he's black market, stuff like that. Yeah, you know, just not good. I'll send the eye bomb to disable his weapons, and I'll attack the shields. Actually, yeah. Because the burst laser will be charged before the eye bomb. So. You know, ooh, that's not good. I would really need ow. I would really need um, better shields here. Ooh, halberd beam is already ready. Uh, if you heard that, look, my iron bomb is just in the process of teleporting over there. So they're about to lose their weapons, but they're about to lose them also because I'm going to do this. They offer you some of their cargo if you let them live. Fuel 6, missiles 8, wow. That's quite a lot actually. I think I'll take that. I don't think it would be prudent to just destroy them because I think I would get less than that. Wow. Now the Mantis, although they have um, double damage, they only have half the repair time. You know, of any others. So they're not really the ones you uh, you should send into repairs because they are rotten at it. They are very good for boarding, though. Very good. Right. We could go here, but then we'll have to make a hasty retreat. Nice. You jump into a sector beset by a plasma storm. An automated rebel scout stationed at the beacon moves in to attack. Prepare to fight. And this again means that... Wow, I don't want to do that. Come on. That's it. That's all the power I get. Huh? Is that right? Well, I need my O2. And I need shields. And this is all the power I get? That's pathetic. Hmm. Well, we'll just have to do it the hard way. Go for the weapons first. Uh, 
Ow. Nice, weapons are out. Let's go for the uh, shields next. I'm not sure how quickly these things repair themselves because they obviously they have no crew of their own. So uh, I've only damaged the shield system. It's still working now. Come on, burst laser! Oh, come on, destroy that thing! Ah, it's damaged enough now, so it doesn't actually work. But now it's not gonna work at all, because it's destroyed. I should put a little bit more in weapons as well. But this thing is now dead. Ah, see, it, j it was just repaired a little bit. The ship explodes, of course. Right. Uh, we can't go here because we'll meet the rebels, but we can go here. Don't forget, redistribute your power. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what's inside. Attack the automated ship to get to the station, of course. Uh, more here. And like this. Ah, it's got an ion beam and, uh, you know, the razor thingy, laser, whatever. So this could be dangerous. He'll disrupt our shields. As soon as it hits our shields, our shield system is inoperable. I mean, if you had two or more levels of shields, it would still be up, but it wouldn't recharge. As you can see, it's locked down. Not for very long, though, because that's not a very powerful weapon. But, this, you see, this thing now does damage because we don't have shields. And I could use the halberd uh, beam because he's only got one level of shields. So I could use it potentially over these three rooms. It'll do one damage because one gets taken off by the shield. And I'm not gonna waste a missile, so... You know, he's dead now anyway. And our shields are repaired. Could not. Investigate the station. Station is a storage site for the military burst laser Mark I. Hmm. Uh, what's it like? Required power 2 instead of 2. Recharge time 1 second faster, but it only has 2 shots instead of 3. So it's not that bad, really. I'll keep it for now. I can use it, you know, if I need it. For example, like this. Oh, not enough system power, of course need more system power, but I need more shields first. Like that. More shields! There we go. Boom! There we go. They've charged up. Now, we can still visit this one, this one, but I think we'll have to fight the rebels here. So, we'll see what I want to do. The rebels are fairly well equipped. Uh, another automated drone! Jeez! It arms its weapons, you should do the same. Well, I am doing so. Alright, first laser it is. Ooh, it's got lots of weapons and this thing. Which is dangerous because it will get through our shields with the lasers. Come on, shoot. Nice, just in time, it was about to fire. But th we were just in time. Let's just fire our halberd beam. Because it'll, you know, turn off their weapons. All of their, its weapons. That's only damaged the shield. I don't think it's gonna go down yet. But this thing is dead anyway. Of course, it might seem easy, but we are playing on easy. It'll get uh, much. Ooh, heavy laser Mark One. It'll get much harder. Let's see, heavy laser Mark One. Only one power, but only one shot. So this is better because, actually no, this is better, it's got less recharge time. Hmm. And it's got fire and breach chance, because this this one doesn't have breach chance. I think I'll use it sometimes instead of the, uh, you know, instead of the, let's have some more reactor power. Instead of the uh, ion bomb. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll have to fight the rebels if we go here. Let's try anyway. We might be lucky. And if we're not lucky... Oh, you spot a rebel ship in the nebula ahead and stay off the radar. Trying to engage? 
Of course, prepare to chase them. You follow their vapor trails and surf onto their six o'clock weapons hot. Oh, I heard a drone going somewhere. I don't like that. Hopefully just a defense drone. Right, he's got a heavy laser and a razor thing. I, I never know how to call these things. Halberd beam. Okay, a beam weapon. Let's let's call it like that. Even though technically lasers are beams, all of them. Um, you can attack this, you can attack this as well. It's powering up. I'm also powering up though. Boom. Of course I miss. That's why I don't like about heavy... Wow. All of that missed. And he missed everything as well, except with the beam. Oh, I can attack now. I can attack five... Uh, rooms here, like this. It'll just attack them all. Nice. And now he's pretty much, you know, done. Because he's got no weapons. His shields are damaged. His drones are damaged. His drone control. And uh, I'm just gonna pound him. And that's it. Boom. Thank you. I need that teleported though, that is very nice. Oh, we don't have to fight the rebels, excellent. Right, let's jump to the next sector. Don't forget, jumping to the next sector also requires fuel. Pirate control or Zoltan control? So let's go to the Zoltan control sector. There will be enough fights as well. I haven't been to Zoltan sectors, you know, much. This species is not renowned for giving anything for nothing, but you can always be assured of fair hearing. Okay. And because we're out of the nebula, we can actually so see all our rooms again. Um, I'm going to save up scrap if I can find a teleporter being sold somewhere. As soon as you arrive at the stress signal, shots are fired towards your ship. A trap. Right. He's only got a laser and... Why are they all equipped with these? That's far less random than I had it in my own playthrough. That's strange. Right, that's... Okay, we can already use the halberd beam. Right, how many rooms? One, two, three, four, five... No, can't do it like that. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five rooms hit there. And it'll hit the O2 and the uh, weapons. And they will scramble to repair the O2. What? No! Don't want to use the halberd beam now. So let's we'll just tag the shields first and then the halberd beam. Of course it would miss. That's why I don't like, you know, about heavy lasers. They might do more damage per shot than normal lasers, but if you miss, that's it. Ooh, please don't kill us, we'll give you everything we have! Missile 6, drone parts, one scrap, and that's not good enough for me. Did we get more? Uh, uh I guess... Uh, I don't know, a little more, maybe. Anyway, an unvisited location. The distress is here, don't let that bother you. It's just over that star behind it. We have enough for a teleporter. It costs uh, 75. By the time you notice this rebel ship behind the beacon, it's too late to avoid a fight. Oh, that's a drone, but it's only, I think, a level 1. Oh, he's got a missile, though. So let's go for the weapons first. And you know what? We can already attack with the halberd beam when it's... Um, oh, he's got a beam drone. No, the missile will go through. Oh, there we go. We can't evade now because the pilot is, uh, you know, the the piloting cockpit is damaged. The enemy ship appears to be powering up this FTL. It's trying to escape. No, it's not because we are going to destroy it very quickly. Fortunately, as long as we have shields up, this drone can't do anything to us. Uh, fuel six. It's quite good actually, but that's like. Let's see if we get more if we destroy them. Well... Uh, no, we didn't really get more. I should have taken their offer, but... Oh well. 
I want a store. The Mantis outcasts sometimes make the mistake of taking the Desultan for easy game. A scout moves in to attack while a boarding party beams aboard. Oh, that's not good because... Oh, that's only one on one then. That's okay. Um, how much do you give? 14% faster recharge for weapons. What about shields? 10%. You know what? Go help your buddy. Oh, it's two Mantai. That is not good at all. I need to put more into the medical bay. Because these are dangerous. But with three people and the medical bay healing us up all the time, this will be far easier than it would be. And let's prepare the halberd beam. No, actually, let's wait for the shields to go down. Now, oh, missiles going through. <laughs> right into the... Oh, <laughs> look! <laughs> that was lucky, actually. We don't need this, so you go back to weapons. You go back to shields, and you can repair in the meantime. Actually, you know what? I don't want them to fire again. Let's fire our beam right here. Even though it's gonna be, you know, not as efficient because of the shields, and he's still got a missile going. Ow! Of course it would go for the O2. Gotta repair the O2. Otherwise we're gonna suffocate. Fairly quickly. Alright, go back to your post. You should go heal up. Thank you. Back to weapons you go. Back to shields you go. And there we go. Steli! Ah, oh, a, a big mantis called Steli. How cute. Anyway. Can I get some stores, please? Would be appreciated. Ooh, I like this music. Pick up the latest broadcast from a rupturing Zoltan Freighter. The Mantis! They're here! Please! You're interrupted by fire on the port bow. Well, he's got missiles and lasers, so... Awesome music. Oh, no, 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 and it's two of them. That is horrible. That is horrible. That is in trouble. These guys will destroy my cockpit, probably. So we'll have no evade, but I think I'll just, you know, tag them like this and be done with it. Oh, Stelly needs to heal up. Aw, oh, they do so much damage, that's ridiculous. Oh, that was just in time. Look at that, they do so much damage. You know what, I'll just leave them to do this. Just... That ship... Oh, there we go. They teleported away. Uh, I could just leave them to destroy this. Because, you know, I had no pilot anyway, so the evade was zero. And I could wait for them to come somewhere over here, nearer to the medical bay. But yeah, you, you get, you know, stuff like this, where you need to think on your toes. Or on your feet, whatever. Store! Excellent. Give me a teleporter, please. And another mantis, that would be awesome. A human ship helps. My friends, please! There is nothing I don't have, and there is nothing worth wanting that I can't get. Why not take a look around my shop? Of course you don't have a teleporter. Why would you? Hmm. This is, uh... This is tempting, though. If I get another halberd beam... Let's see. Say we sell this. And only use the burst laser to go through shields. However, the problem is... We can sell this. The problem is... We can't get through this, uh, through... Actually, I could use the eye bomb as well. 
Let's sell the heavy laser and buy the halberd beam. So we've got two. Are they the same? Yeah, they're the same. But if I can get both of them powered when the shields are down, with the eye bomb, for example, that will be some serious damage. Let's repair, because it's pretty um, cheap. This is the cheapest I've seen, uh, usually. Two scrap for one repair. And let's get some fuel as well. Scrap recovery arm, I think I want that. And uh, that's about it. Right, so... If I want to power all these three, I need two more in weapons. That's completely doable, 190. And two more energy. Actually, one more energy. So that's completely doable. Let's do... Yeah, let's... Let's, uh... Save our money for that. And, in fact, I'll uh, end this here. And I'll save it. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a really fun game. Unfortunately, I, I didn't seem to find a way to rename people. So if you've got an idea how that's done, please let me know. I know you can do it at the beginning, but I don't really know how you can do it here. So, uh, crew. See, I, I can't. No, it doesn't work. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.